I've always been asked a lot of questions about plastic surgery because I myself have done two nose jobs and two sort of eyes eyelid surgeries where I cut my double eyelids to be a little bit higher and cut the uh, sides of my eyes or the outer corners of my eyes to be a little bit longer so and I've also done other things like Botox and fillers so I guess a lot of people are asking me a lot of questions about plastic surgery because they themselves are interested or something like that and I thought today I would just answer some of the most commonly asked questions because there are a lot of questions asked and nobody are answering those questions I don't claim to be an expert or encourage anyone to go for plastic surgery if you want to that's your business okay I neither encourage or discourage it all right let's start with the questions one of the most commonly asked questions is about the scarring so where do you get scars when you do a nose job okay for me I have a scar right here I don't know if you can see but it's right in between my nostrils in this like middle thing called the columella and that is where the surgeon cut the nose so that it he can sort of open up my nose to do the implants inside and fix whatever he wants to fix. I also did alaplasty which is another kind of nose job where I, you know these like two things on the side, these two pieces, okay. They're called ala, which in Latin means wings of the nose. So uh, basically I found that like my nose was a little bit too wide. And okay, here's a before photo to show you how wide it is. And so yes, I, I wanted to cut the side. So he actually took out a wedge of a tissue from here and from here. And he just, you know, it's like a size of pizza. And then you just cut it out and... He tossed the rest of my nose away and sewed it up. Okay, so the next question is what exactly did I do for my first nose job and my second nose job? And why did I want to have a second nose job if my first nose job was already okay? Uh, basically, I did my second nose job because I thought my first nose job was a little bit crooked. And here's a picture to show you how crooked it is. But basically, I also didn't like how the tip was a little bit squashed in at the side so I wanted the tip which is here to be a little bit higher so to explain myself the first surgery my first rhinoplasty uh, I had an implant put in and my alas cut and also the tip of my nose reduced uh, when I did that surgery I was very very unhappy with my previous nose and I, I just basically wanted it smaller so I told my surgeon just smaller I don't care what you what else you do uh, I don't need it to be extra sharp or extra high or anything like that just freaking make it smaller because it's so fucking humongous so basically that's what he did and the second time round because it's crooked and because I this time round I guess I'm a little bit more knowledgeable of what kind of nose I want I, I told him I wanted a higher tip so basically the second time round he did this okay I drew a picture because it's really hard to explain so basically this is what it is okay uh, so this is my nose okay anybody's nose you have a cartilage here uh, about the shape of a parallelogram par parallelogram <laughs> so basically you don't need the whole piece of cartilage because it's really big so you just he took out this in cartilage out of my own nose and he cut it here like this something like that I'm not sure if you know I'm slandering him here but basically he cut it and this took out this extra piece right here and used this piece to modify it into little pieces like that okay and inserted it into okay this is the nose like this okay he inserted it into the columella to make the columella look higher and as well as use some of it to build a little bit of a tip so basically that's what my second nose job did uh, so now my nose is a little bit higher and I think the tip is a little bit higher too which gives a little bit of a button nose effect which I really like and that's not to say I don't like my previous nose job I do and I think both times uh, around my surgeons are very very good and I'm very thankful for that and they may be or may not be the same person but I cannot say because um, it is some kind of like Ministry of Health violation if you if doctors advertise for their shit so whatever what are some of the implants that I use you can either for nose jobs use a straight implant just a very basic straight implant or an L-shaped implant 
Okay, some people prefer to use the L-shaped one, some people you prefer to use the straight one. For my surgeon, he told me that he doesn't use L-shaped implants because it's very easy for the implant to get warped. And by warped, I mean like at the, at the tip, right, because it's the L-shaped like this, it tilts like this to the side. So from the bottom, you can clearly see it's like moving to the side. And I think that's what happened to Dawn. So she only takes pictures from one side. Mine is a flat implant. Okay. And this implant uh, rests on my nose here. And yes, if you touch it, you can actually feel the groove of the implant because there's a line here. And you can often see that people who have nose implants, when they take photos, right, there is a line along their nose. So that's a telltale sign because a natural nose will never have a line there like that. Okay, the next question is, how does your nose feel like? Does it feel really hard and artificial? Um, I guess the answer is yes, it kind of does. For people who have implants, yes, it's a little bit harder. And because I have all this cartilage inside my nose tip right now, it does feel quite hard. So when I touch it, I, I think it's, yeah, it's quite hard. Lah. <laughs> it's about as hard as maybe your knuckle. Yeah. The next question is, how painful is it? And that's the most popular question. Um, to answer that question, I guess it depends on whether you do a local anesthesia or general anesthesia. And of course, general anesthesia is more expensive, but if you do local, it means that your doctor would have to inject all these injections into your uh, face before he gets started on his surgery. And I think those injections are pretty painful. But they're still tolerable, you know, I didn't like, you know, scream and yell or ask him to stop or anything like that. So there was this one particular jab that was really painful and it was through my columella, which is through here. And wow, that was like freaking fucking painful. I was like whimpering a little bit. But the rest of the injections, even those through my gums, I know it sounds very terrible, but those are really okay. Is plastic surgery really addictive? I would say to a certain degree, yes, but not in a scary way where you can't control yourself because after all, you need money and you need uh, recovery time and you know, uh, people around you to sort of agree to you doing it. So there are so, so many other factors that will stop you. And there's also this fear that your surgery may not be necessary or it will turn out bad. So in a way, it's not really addictive, but I can understand where that notion comes from because once you have started, what's going to stop you from doing the next? You're not all natural anymore. There's no point in being completely natural. You might as well go fix something else that you want to fix. But I would say that a well-balanced individual who doesn't have like body dysmorphic disorder or whatever it's called uh, will probably not keep doing surgery. Uh, how long is the recovery time for a nose job? It depends on whether you have an internal surgery or an external surgery. If you have an internal surgery, it means that your implant is just in inserted into your nose bridge uh, from your nostrils, which means that the stitches are inside your nostrils. So basically, that would mean that you have no external scar for you to have to recover from. So I would say in three or four days, perhaps you can just go out and your nose might look a little bit swollen, but still nobody can tell whether you have scars outside. If you have an external surgery, then that means there'll be stitches done on your columella and uh, perhaps a bandage on your nose. And that will take perhaps a week for the stitches to come off. For the, You have to go back to the surgeon to remove it. After that, about... After that, you can sort of go out and uh, maybe in another week's time, which is like two weeks after the surgery, you can start to put makeup and concealer on your nose. It will take about a month for the swell to fully go away and your nose to look optimal to go out with without having anyone say, how come your nose is so fucking huge? Can you smell blood during the surgery and did it smell like bacon? Yes, I could smell blood during the surgery. I didn't think it smelled like bacon, but it definitely smelled like some kind of pop. Yeah, like maybe a roast pop, but not so delicious. Like, you know, like if you just boiled pop or something like that. I can definitely smell it. Yeah, I could, I could smell my own flesh. It was kind of morbidly cool. 